Okay, I want to talk about the three ways to increase sales. This actually applies to any business. I've been doing these for, oh, years and years and years. I have not been able to find anybody else that could give me a different one. If you can give me a different one, please do. But you won't be able to find another way to increase sales. There's only three. One is increase the check average of the customer you already have. I have a customer sitting in my restaurant. I need to have them give me more money every time they're sitting in that seat. Increase the check average of the customer you already have. The second is increase frequency of the customers you already have. They currently come to me three times a month. I'd like them to come to me five times a month. And the third is increase new trial. Get a person who's currently not buying from you to buy from you. That is the only three ways to increase sales. If you're doing your marketing, you should already know in advance which of the three you're trying to impact. In the restaurant business, you can impact check average by upselling sizes, appetizers, desserts. You can increase check average by giving them more expensive options that they purchase. But you also have to manage the fact that people will only pay so much for a meal. Interestingly enough, if you look over the history of the restaurant business, there is a direct correlation between the federal minimum wage in the United States and what people will pay for a meal. It goes almost perfectly in line together. If the federal minimum wage is six bucks, then the customer will roughly pay six bucks for lunch. If the federal minimum wage back in the day was three bucks, the customer would reasonably pay three dollars for lunch. If the federal minimum wage gets to nine dollars, the customer will reasonably pay nine dollars for lunch. Politicians don't apparently understand this, but if you look at history, it's crystal clear. Now, of course, they will pay less for breakfast in most cases, more for dinner in most cases. But see, I can impact check average, but only so much. Frequency. Fast food restaurants, it's more likely for a person to visit three, four, five, six times a month. In some instances, three, four, five, six times a week. But the reality is, is fast food has more frequency of their customer base. Fine dining, at the other end of the scale, less frequency. The reality is, you might frequent them once a month. You might frequent them once every two or three months. In fact, there's plenty of high dollar chain restaurants that their whole focus is to get you once or twice a year. Well, so your objective is to know the frequency of your customers that you currently have. One way to do that is run the floor and you can see it with your own two eyes. Another way to do it is ask them. They'll tell you. Your job is to get them to come in more times than they did before per month. If you increase frequency, you will increase sales. No way around it. The third one is the hardest one, new trial. This is why what happens to the restaurants is they open, and they open with fanfare, and they have a whole ton of people come in in a short amount of time. Because guess what? People are sitting around, hey, did you try? Let's go try this new restaurant. Let's check it out. And they get buried in customers. In a lot of cases, they don't handle the customers very well. And then the customers don't come back. Their sales do a belly flop. Some cases, they never recover. Other cases, they find a way to get it back. But new trial is difficult, because what you have to do is you have to inspire the customer who normally isn't trying you. And when we call it new trial, they may have never tried you before, or they may have not tried you in a long time. That time might be a year. That time might be three years. At that point, it's all about getting them to come back in 
or what would be described as a new trial. Well, in our industry, we use what's called limited time offers, LTOs. And what that is, is a marketing campaign where we'll say, come in and we have this new XYZ shake. We have this new XYZ sandwich. We have this new XYZ special. And that limited time offer is to drive customers into the hole to try you. Well, again, when you're creating your marketing campaign, there are specific marketing campaigns that will drive trial. There's significant marketing campaigns that will drive check average. And there's significant marketing campaigns that will drive frequency. You've got to be able to match those. You can use common sense. You can use common sense. It's not about just throwing a bunch of coupons out there and seeing what works. You should be able to say, this specific campaign is for that specific result. But those are the only three ways to build sales. <laughs>